Uh, hello and welcome back viewers. Uh, now, we will continue with our discussion. Uh, so, Malan sahab, um, uh, we were discussing about the uh, wisdoms uh, of fasting. So, you already discussed one point. So, can you please uh, uh, shed some light on some other points of yes. uh, wisdom of fasting please? Yes. There is a very beautiful hadith from uh, our prophet uh, when he went on Mi'raj. It is called Hadith Mi'raj. Uh, in which the Prophet points out to the, uh, the heritage or the essence, so to speak, of fasting. Um, and this is a conversation between the Prophet and, uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he says, قَالَ يَا أَحْمَدْ هَلْ تَعَلَمْ مَا مِيرَاثُ الصَّوْمِ You know, Allah asked the Prophet, do you know what is the mirath? What is the heritage or, you know, fasting. of psalm? What is the essence mm. of fasting? Uh, the Prophet replied, you know, Allah, uh, you know, I don't know. Obviously, Prophet, no, he's, he has that knowledge, you know. But in front of Allah, obviously, who can say yeah, that, yes, I know, course, you know, yeah. it's like saying. So here, he says, no. Then, the pr the, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Mirath uh, or is eating less. Now, this eating less, I'll just read the, read the translation. Uh, eating less. And in eating less, um, it is, you, you speak less. You know, when you eat less, you will speak less. Uh, and when you speak less, you will gain wisdom, hikmat, when you speak less. And uh, when you gain wisdom, this will bring about understanding, marifat. When you gain marifat, it will bring about yaqeen, certainty. And when insan reaches to the level of yaqeen, he doesn't care you know, w how he will make the next morning. Because he has a yaqeen in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But where, where does it start from? It starts from fasting. You know, from this little act of fasting. That is, but the fasting, the way one should really fast, obviously. You know, in, in, and we have to look at the traditions uh, which kind of define, you know, as they say that uh, in one of the hadiths, uh, which says a person is in a state of continuous perpetual ibadat, when he is fasting, unless he backbites. So when he backbites, his, you know, he is not doing ibadat. His fast is gone. You know, there's a very famous, which, uh, you know, I will remind and for myself and uh, always a reminder is good. You know, two ladies came to the, two, p two people came to the Prophet and the Prophet said, you know, you, you vomit, you throw up to these two person who came. And said, we are fasting. If we throw up, obviously, you know, the, the, it will go back and our ruza will become batil. You know, our fast will become batil. He said, you vomited. And when they vomit, there was chunk of meat in their, in their, uh, in, in their vomit. So, so it's, they said, by God, Allah, we did not eat meat. You know, what is this? He said, this is the backbiting that you are doing. Because the Quran says, when you are backbiting, it is as if eating the death flesh of your own brother. Mm -hmm. A person comes to the Prophet, you know, the Prophet says, clean, clean your teeth, it has meat is stuck in there. You know, the, the man said, I did not eat meat. He said, you just did bag biting. That is the meat is there, right? So a fast, which is a true fast, a true fast automatically, you know, brings us sukut. You know, that's a, so it, see how much it is connected fasting with silence you know if a person for example uh, speaks and he says wallah and he says that this is from rasulullah this is in the quran this is from the imam batil no no the fast becomes what he cannot miss into you know um, uh, he cannot misquote you know the wordings of the prophet and the quran it, so the fasting is there's some connection with fasting and speech so now I'm fasting, I should not speak. There are different types of speaking. There's a type of speaking where I say, Wallah, this happened, for example. My fast is broken if it did not happen, right? So there's a connection of speech and fasting, mm -hmm. you see? So now the Prophet says that with fasting, he will speak less. With speak less, he will gain hikmat, wisdom. And through hikmat, through wisdom, he will gain marifat. And through marifat, he will gain yaqeen, certainty. And when a person have yaqeen, you know, he doesn't really care mm -hmm. how he does early morning, 
how he does uh, whether it is he's in a good state whether he's in a sad state you know whether he uh, there is bala calamity upon mm -hmm. him or not he's in peace his it doesn't matter his to faith him. becomes stronger in yes. allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when he reaches that state that is the state of rida where he's radi with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala see it's beginning from fasting taking you till rida till the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regardless you know he's radi with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know and then when he reaches to the state of rida he will have you know thalath qisal three qisal three qualities in him you know a shukr he will have a type of shukr which will not be mixed with jahalat you know a type of khalis a true shukr you know he will be always in the state of shukr you know without any jahalat meaning that when jabir ibn abdullah ansari was a bit ill the fifth imam visits him and ask him oh jabir in what state are you he says alhamdulillah because he was ill and he just said alhamdulillah because he did not want to complain you know we tend to complain a lot oh this little bit oh what is this you know this that that you know always in the state of alhamdulillah you know as we said you know oh hassan you know in the wasiyat of amir al-mumin compare we mentioned this earlier compare yourself to those who are lower to you in terms of the worldly affairs whether that be health maybe or whether that be wealth and in terms of the manaviyat compare yourself to those who are the higher so that you always yearn to do more so three khasalat one is a shukr without jahalat so when a person is doing shukr he is really doing shukr when imam hussein is doing that shukr it is not for show off it is not that yeah it's a bit painful but still a shukr let's know it is a proper shukr that hundred percent shukr you know it, when he's means shukr is a shukr no pain nothing it is really thanking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala period without any pain without any feeling of anything being lost without jahalat you know when a person gets that stage of rida and he will be given the second khislat of dhikr without any disturbance of forgetfulness that means he will be always in the state of dhikr you know he will be always doing the zikr of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will never forget the zikr of allah that state always in that state people like salman people like abu zar people like meghdad you know ya abazar in a hadith of the prophet you know ittaqu you know have conscious of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have be god weary tajid amamak the way that you see allah in front of you mm -hmm. that's the way of having taqwa that when when the prophet is advising oh abazar have taqwa means that when i am having taqwa in front of me what shall i see i should see allah that is taqwa you know right in front of me there should be allah yes there is multiplicity we are seeing things but with these see with, with these things we should see allah what did amir al mumineen said he says i haven't seen a thing before it allah after it allah with it allah aynama tawallu fa samma wajhullah as the quran says wa huwa ma kum aynama kuntum wherever you are you, with you is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the point is i am not seeing it i have hijab you know i remember i told bahjat once i went to him when i was studying after fajr prayer you know got the opportunity to speak to him allah bless his soul and increase in daraja and mashur mm -hmm. him with ahli bayt alayhi wasalam and uh, i said you know uh, when i was in america and i was actively involved in teaching sunday school you know in in demonstrations in going out there and tabligh and you know you're active there mm -hmm. right but now you know uh, uh, i have come to home to study now you know here i open book i study i go back to school you know st study a bit go home you know have some food go to sleep next morning it's a routine right that you know i feel like i have distance from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that's how i feel you know uh because i'm not that active you know in islam and deen and teaching here doing this doing that you know all that so he said you know allah is right there where he was it is you who have distanced yourself you know allah is aqrabu ilaykum min hablil warid right is much closer to you than your own jugular vein you know 
So then I thought, yes, you know, Allah was died there. And it is something that I think that by doing this, for example, I'm thinking that I'm coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well, what I'm doing right now, that is also means of me to come closer to God. Allah is right there, you know. As in Dua Abu Hamza Thumali, we recite of Imam Sajjad mm -hmm. alayhi salam, highly recommended to be recited in the month of Ramadan. Uh, our us Asatid, uh, our teachers used to advise us that as it's a very long dua, they used to say, tell us, recite Dua Abu Hamza in parts. In parts you know, yes. before Sahri, mm -hmm. you know, read a bit, stop where, you know, uh, make, a ma make a mark. The next day continue from there, continue from there. So that you finish it. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter, you know, that you, you know, uh, finish it in 10 days. But make sure that you read every day. In the Dua Abu Hamza Thumali, uh, very unique and special Dua comes from Abu Hamza Thumali, uh, who was known to be the Salman of the time. Initially, he was uh, a Rahzan, as they say. He was a thief. He would rob people who would go on the motorway. He would rob them, he would steal them. But the nafas, the breath of Imam Masoom, changed his taqdeer. SubhanAllah. That's what we recite in the, in the, in the ziyarat of Rajabiya. That, O oh, Imam, the change of taqdeer is in your hands. Just breathe on us. Of course. Just a nafas. Nafas of Masoom from a person who is at the side of Yazid becomes Hur. That's the nafas of an imam, right? So tafweed, wa ta'weed, that's the jumla. Those are the sentences, those are the words used in the ziyarat al Rajabiya, in Mafati ul Jina, that is to be recited, that ziyarat. Tafweed wa ta'weed, you know, is in your hand, O imam, right? So, who was a thief, now he becomes a Salman -e Zamana. He becomes the Salman of the time, Abu Hamza, in which we recite, this is what I wanted to mention. That Imam is saying, the masafat to you is very qareeb, oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are not far. The masafat is very close. So the second thing, khislat, that the Prophet is mentioning that he will gain, is a zikr which, you know, which will be without forgetfulness. He will be always in, this, in the state of zikr. And finally, the third khislat, which is the most beautiful sifat, quality. It is uh, uh, he will get um, uh, he will have the love of me upon which no cre creatures or creations love will overpower. He will have only the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will have the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and nothing and no other love could really overpower. And that is what it is, the ultimate love. Halud, halud deen is deen other than love, Imam Sadiq alayhi salam. Is religion other than love. Our deen is love. Imam Sajjad alayhi salam in the very first dua of Saif al Sajjadiya. He says, Allah created the creation and He placed the creation upon the path of love. We are on this path of love. That's what it is. It is love. So this fasting, taking you to that level of love. Right? And, you know, there are obviously this it's a hadith and miraj and it continues. You know, it talks uh, a bit more, you know, what will happen in terms of that is when he create that love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then after ayn qalbihi ila jalalihi wa adhmatihi, fala akhfa anhu ilma khasa khalqi. And then after, after, he will open up the, his eyes and his heart, or the eyes of the heart. He will open up the eyes of his heart ila jalali, to the jalal of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to the azamat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he will not hide any knowledge from him. Every, the, the, the doors of knowledge will open towards him. He will not hide. He, is, he, is, he will see God, the Jalal and Jamal of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He will be able to see the Azamat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? As we talked about, you know, I saw everything before, after, with, nothing but Allah. Right? 
أين وات واللوفا سما وجو لا ويري بيو ترند إز فيس وال سو إف بيرسون بيكمز ذات عارف وير هي سيز دي جلال إن أذمة تبا الله سبحانه وتعالى إفري وير يو نو هي ويل نوت سي ثينجز إن مالتيبلسيتي هي ويل سي ثينجز إن يونيتي ذات إز وات ذا ستيتمنت أوف حضرت زینب از ما رائے تو الا جمیلا ابن زیاد ask right how did you see killing of your brother I saw nothing but beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that was beautiful because that it was 100% shukr what Imam Hussain was doing was shukr to see a maqluq to see a brother in that state of shukr is jameel is jamal is beautiful ما رائے تو الا جمیلا but where does it start Starting from that fast, <laughs> that is the miras of fast. This is what we. This is what is expected of us. If we want to fast, this is where we have to reach. If we believe in Ahl Bayt, you know, if we, if, if this all have been handed down to us, we have received all of this. If we are not achieving this, then what? What is of us? Why want to us? Why behalima is this? You know, we have all of this, but still we are not. Moving in that direction, what has happened to us? We are, we have lost it. We have everything here. A fasting should be like this. You know, today is the first or second, whatever. We are, we are involved in this. Is today first? Why there is difference of opinion? <laughs> Why we are not having one eid, Baba? You know, this is where we are supposed to go. Mm. Not get involved in these, you know, f whatever the fatwa of the marja is being. Accept that and go. Just arguing on petty issues, small issues, just which is yeah. I mean, it's really uh, it's it's important. I mean, yeah. I would I, I respect. You know, it's it's not right. I, it's very important that we all have one Eid. We all celebrate together. But is besides the point. What is supposed to be focused is this, mm -hmm. and then a ilm khas will be given to them. You know, a, a, a knowledge will be given and provided to them. You know, it begins with that little fasting. You know. Yes. You have any? So, Mulana uh, so the uncountable uh, wisdoms and yes. fasting, which we, we cannot even uh, count. And yes. And uh, the hadith yes. continues. I, I just will, as we have started, let me just finish. I, was, I wanted to uh, get a breath to read. Uh, as it says, with this, uh, when I have given him the, the, uh, the knowledge w which I haven't hidden anything from him, then the night will become nurani for him you know the the the, the layl uh, will become enlightened uh, and he will do najwa uh, he will sit with whispering to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he will speak to me you know najwa is like whispering to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm -hmm. and uh, and i will sit with him and i will listen to his kalam and the kalam of the malaika uh, and, and the malaika and the angels uh, will speak to him yes uh -huh. okay. and i will unveil the secrets that is hidden from others so one fasting is taking you to that height isn't it allah merciful is this, it, is this not love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Muslims, to the Mu'mineen and Mu'minat to really take us on a journey, you know, Just towards Allah for See, the enlightening as <laughs> the we discussion. Said, it is a, the, uh, there was a, uh, about the uh, Ajar and Pali. Yes, there's, uh, I need to ask one question. Uh, how will the um, fasting be rewarded or how will the, the those who fast, fast will be will rewarded, be rewarded. Yes. Uh, can i take yes. a call please hello assalamu alaikum welcome to the show hello assalamu alaikum sister uh, uh, i'd like to ask a question to malala sir please yeah may i know who's calling please my name is kamran from birmingham kamran from birmingham okay what's your question brother uh, sorry what's your question uh, the, the question is uh, sister um I made the intention of fasting last night, uh, but I, at the same time, suffer from depression and I'm on medication. Okay. Uh, I couldn't get no sleep at all last night and I had to break the fast uh, uh, during the night um, after Seri uh, because uh, my depression was getting to me uh, and I was suffering from anxiety and I had, take, I had to take my medication. 
in this circumstances would I need to pay kufara? Uh, okay, Mulana, I will answer your question, inshallah. Okay, thank you okay. for calling. Thanks for your call. Thank you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give shifa to the brother inshallah and to all mu'mineen and mu'minat and give him the courage and the strength uh, to keep fast uh, in, in the future inshallah. Uh, no, because it is a medical issue. Uh, there is no kafara for that. On medical grounds, uh, health is a priority. Uh, therefore, uh, there is no kafara. However, he ha when, when, when he gets... Uh, to a place uh, where when he gets better after the month of Ramadan, he has to uh, do one qada, for one the qada. Fast that he has missed. Yes. After the Ramadan ends, after the Ramadan ends, he has to do one qada okay. because of his health uh, issue. He has to break the fast. There's no kafara. There's it is no not kafara. A sin, okay. You know, and, and he did the right thing. Yeah. You know, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. uh, perhaps if he wouldn't have broken the fast that would have been problematic yeah. you know that could have been a sin so he can just do, do one fast after the month of ramadan that is correct so i hope this has answered the question of this brother so Mulan Sahib, i have this uh, i think this the is the, this will be the last question yes yeah. the so reward is also very short unique, of time so very special uh, yeah uh, it reward. also points out to the uh, uh, the uh, you know uh, what fasting is really pointing out to the uh, you know the reality of fasting you know as uh, as the hadith says as som is considered li wa ana ajzibe you know som as som li wa ana ajziabe you know the hadith uh, which is in rodatul muttaqin uh, which says that fasting is for me and i will give the reward if translated that way or fasting is for me and ana azia and i am the reward there are two understanding of this hadith the deeper is ana that i am the reward so a person who fast his reward is allah subhanallah obviously when the hadith of miraj of the prophet he is seeing the jalal of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know he has that noor he's seeing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every day Ana Adzi, you know, Allah is the Ajar Himself. That's one. The other, if even if we take that that meaning, where I will give the reward for others, for Salat, for Hajj, for for others, we find that uh, you know the angels will reward them. But for fasting in the Hadith, the Prophet have s the, uh, in the Hadith, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala have said that I am I will give the reward so the person who fast he will get the reward directly from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not from any angels there's no connection there it is direct from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this means that the reward is so honorable itself because you are getting it from Allah you know you you can get a reward from the head teacher you can get a reward from the you know the mayor of town you know you can get the reward from the minister of the country you know right so where is it ana adzi, i will reward you allah is saying ana and the zamir ana is used it's not said allah who is ghafoor allah who is rahim you know he you know he was the rewarder of that he said ana is mutakallim you know abahda is ana you know i will reward allah you. himself, allah is, himself, addressing himself his is saying that i will reward the one who is the deeper meaning where it says Anna is that I am the reward of the fast. Allah Himself, Allah himself is the reward of the fast. Subhanallah. Right. It means one who fasts, he, he will achieve God. Achieve God. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the one who fasts. You know that is that what is else, the what else is needed. Right. That is the very sort of uh, unique reward that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uh, discusses in regards to fasting, and that is why you know. Uh, so much emphasis whether that be mustahab fast uh, you know or a fast where it says uh, you know sign of sabr wa salat you know take help from sabr which points out to fasting as the interpreters exegists have mentioned and salat so we hope and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he uh, with his mercy as he himself has invited us as he himself is uh, providing us all the ni'mat that he give us the ni'mat of 
understanding the fast he gave, give us the ni'mat of the fast of true individuals righteous ones who fast and through this fasting of all of the mu'mineen uh, the reward be the uh, the the faraj of imam zaman the reappearance of al mahdi uh, ta'ala farajahu sharif Oh. And <coughs> let there be relief and release and faraj for all Muslimin, inshallah, as inshallah. all Ummat Muslima is fasting. Thank you very much, Mulana. Jazakallah for the beautiful explanations for all the questions that I asked. And uh, thank you very much uh, for being with us on this show. Uh, Jazakallah. And um, viewers, with this discussion, we come to the end of uh, today's program. Uh, don't forget to watch us uh, next week, same time same day. Uh, till then, take care. Khuda Hafiz. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.